Okay, in this video, we are going to go through opening J album, adding a photo to J album to one of your slideshows, and then also deleting a image or photo from the J album. And J album basically is a website that allows you to upload photos to it for free too. So basically, what I've done is grabbed, written a script that'll grab the photos that you upload to J album and stick them on the website in the slideshow. So it's all automatic once you publish the album. So first thing we're going to do is go to J album and I've sent over instructions to installing for installing J album and then your login information is on there as well. So once you have it installed, you're going to go to applications most likely and then navigate to J album and then double click on J album. It'll open up and it'll open up in your little dashboard and you can see that you have empty project which is you can start by dragging and dropping photos to folders here. We're not going to be worried about that because the only two portfolios you have up there right now are paintings and drawings and those are the only two that it will publish to the site. If you want to add more or different categories uh, we'll have to configure that into the site. So that would be a matter of I have to write another script to bring those images in and add another page so that they will be viewable. So let's click on drawings and as soon as you click on drawings you'll see all the images that are currently in drawings. And we want to add another image to drawings now. So we are going to open up our finder window and navigate to the image that we want to add. So we're just going to add some random image here and we'll grab it and drag it over and then you can drag it wherever you like. You can see the little black bar show up where it's going to be dropped. So we want to drop it right here. So we drop it in and now it is up and in the album. Before it actually gets to the site, we have to publish the album. So now we've got it in here, and now we want to publish it and make it live. So we'll go over here and click on Make Album. And then once it's uploaded and the changes are made to the local machine, basically to your computer, you can click Preview, and it will show you a quick preview of your changes. So there's the new image that we just put in. Then we close out of that. You don't have to click on preview if you don't want to, but if you want to see what it's going to look like prior to it going up on the site, click preview. So now that everything is ready to go, we click publish and give it one moment and it will publish to the site. Click OK. And it'll first do a comparison of the albums and then upload the new image. And now if we go to your site, Luis Serrano, US, let's slash HD. Give it one moment. And we'll see that that new image is indeed in here. So as soon as you publish, it automatically goes live to your website. So we walked through adding a new photo. Now let's delete the photo that we just put in. So now we want to get rid of an image, excuse me, not photo. So we want to get rid of this image. So we are going to click on edit. And then we are going to click on exclude. And then we go back to our main screen. And now if we click on make album, it will be excluded from that album. So with any image you can immediately ex exclude it by just clicking on it and then click exclude. So we'll exclude these three and now we're going to remake the album. So right now it's not actually on the site the changes haven't been made until we click make album and then we click publish. And then it's done.
and then we're good to go. And it'll show you a preview as soon as it's done. Now, let's say we want to change the order of some of these images. So let's unexclude some of these. So just click on exclude again. And now we want everything in there. But we want to move this guy up to the front. We just drag it, and where the black bar appears is where it's going to be dropped. We just drop it. And then we want to move this one down. Drop it down there. And then we have to go back and click Make Album. And then you can preview it, of course. And then we'll click Publish. Click OK. Give it one moment to finish up. And then it'll show you a preview. Down here at the bottom, you can see your account, the amount of megabytes used versus how much is left. So if you want to delete one of these images because you're getting at 28 megabytes and you've got like six that you're excluding that you know you don't want in, in there anymore, you're going to click on a Mac, control, and then a mouse click. And that'll open up a window or a menu and you're going to scroll down and click delete on a PC it's going to be right click on the image and then you'll get the same menu and you're going to click delete so once you click delete it's completely deleted from the album and then you have to go and click make album again publish click OK Wait for the changes to occur. And then it's updated. So every time you want to update the actual website, you have to click Make Album. Now you can make changes in here and then go to File, Save Album Project, and come back later and publish later after you've made all your changes that you want to make. So basically, that's J Album. It's pretty simple to use. And if you start to get up to that 30 megabyte area, you can upgrade, and there's an upgrade button, and it's a nominal fee per month uh, to add additional photos. One way to cut back on the total megabytes used is to downsize the images in Photoshop. And I would go with a width of no less than 500 pixels wide or excuse me, 600 pixels wide and 500 pixels high. So that's 600 pixels wide and 500 pixels in height. And you don't want to go under that, but that'll cut down on the megabytes you use. If you upload large images, it's going to be used up fast. So basically that's J Album, and it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to use. You don't want to change Galerific or Black. Those are two settings that are configured to make it appear the way it is on the website right now. So that's the introduction to J Album. And if you have any questions, email me or give me a call and I can walk you through it.